An engineer should have uh, clear analytical skills, be able to problem solve, think laterally, be entrepreneurial, have some commercial acumen, um, and be able to work in multifaceted groups, good listening and social capabilities. devising like a mechanism for a 3D printer to be able to print like massive buildings over 20 stories tall um, and it's just trying to find like an efficient kind of way where you can reduce cost and make it quite fast as well. This week we are trying to develop a mobile retina scanner which takes a high quality image of the retina of a patient and tells the patient basically if there's something wrong with his eyes. Like, uh, one could be like concrete and the other one could be like polyps, for example. Will this work? That will be quite difficult to do, I think. So what would be good would be to research what the, current, what the, what the capabilities of current machines are and then try and imagine how you might either expand it or use it to develop your, your, your field. The main thing they learn is how to work as a team and how, is, how, how, how to divide the job between group of people with different knowledge and different experience. It's been stressful, <laughs> you know, um, working in teams is something we, uh, we have to do as part of our course. But when it's on something that is a, a real challenge, like the, the projects we've been given, it can be, uh, it can be testing to work with people that you haven't met before. Um, but it's skills you're going to need later on in life. <laughs> Especially teamwork, it's crucial for everything. You can't get a good job without being a good team player. Um, you can't get a good job without being able to put your ideas forward and take on board other people's ideas, so it's very useful. As problem solvers, as engineers, you're always going to find that other people can bring things to the table and when you bring lots of disciplines together, you're much more likely to come up with a better solution than if you just try and focus in your own little niche. Hello and welcome to Just News, I'm Marie Kinsey. Our top story today, the government's planning new tax reforms meant to make it easier for companies to employ people, but it comes at a price. Um, we just had a press release, the government has announced a new scheme for taxing on businesses. So staff will be cheaper to employ, but they replace this cost with the consumption tax. It means that we can get higher quality people working for us. Uh, however, the project that we're working on, it depends on a lot of goods coming from all over the world. So I think that that's going to contribute to the cost a lot. So it depends whether that's going to balance out or not. Like we're trying to sell them our product uh, to the company that we're trying and we're basically going to tell them the advantages of this product and how the company will benefit from it and basically why they should buy this product and how it will benefit. How about it's your cent central theme then? Yeah. So the things that are on the line. Anything that exposes you to industry that will help you get a job is absolutely 100% beneficial. And I think, uh, yeah, these, these things should be done in every university. I've met different people from different departments, I've learned new things, I am more prepared now for the real world situations I think in, um, you know, in companies. Everything that we're learning this week is directly applicable to a job situation and every day with the questions that we have to answer, they're incredibly similar to job application questions. It's a real benefit to us.